U.S. Navy's highly secretive FAXX fighter jet could be deployed by 2030-35 and will replace Super Hornets. In what could be seen as a stark departure from its traditional practice, the U.S. Navy proposed budget for the 2024 fiscal year includes almost $1.53 billion for developing a next-generation fighter aircraft, popularly known as the FXX. The U.S. Department of Navy officially published its budget proposal for the fiscal year 2024 on March 13, including budget requests for the U.S. Marine Corps. The FAXX program stands out because, unlike the U.S. Air Force, USAF, which has been more forthcoming about its NGAD. The U.S. Navy's FAXX remains a secret. Last year, media reports indicated that the Navy was spending more money on developing the sixth-generation fighter jet, raising concerns about how the service will convince the taxpayers, without divulging meaningful details about the program. The Navy revealed NGAD spending lines in its FI 2020 budget books, asking for about $20.7 million in research and development funds. To fund the program, the Navy anticipated needing $255.59 million in FI 2023 and $371.9 million in FI 2024. However, the predicted figures have been surpassed in the recent request. Much like the USAF Next Generation Air Dominance Aircraft, the US Navy's sixth generation aircraft is expected to be a stealthy fighter operating with uncrewed aircraft in a manned unmanned teaming mode. The FI 2024 budget request further comes at a time when the service is faced with a potential fighter jet shortage. In March 2022, the service informed the media that it planned to prevent a fighter jet shortage into the 2030. The plan called for fully fielding the F-35C Joint Strike Fighter, creating the FAXX Man Fighter for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program and giving existing FA-18EF Super Hornets an additional 4,000 flying hours of service life. Vice Administration Kenneth Whitesell said, the FFXX must be fielded between 2030 and 2035. He warned that this must be done on schedule, otherwise, the service will lose jets without replacements, creating a shortage. The FFXX is expected to replace the Super Hornets that will start leaving the inventory by 2030 onward, if not sooner. Further, in May 2022, Navy officials told Congress in a written testimony that the FXX program is meant to expand the range for carrier-based operations. FXX is the strike fighter component of the NGAD foes that will be the quarterback of the MUM-T concept, directing multiple tactical platforms at the leading edge of the battle space. Meanwhile, the Navy continues withholding information about how much money it received for this program from previous budgets. But, the slightly more than $1.5 billion it is requesting right now for FAXX only accounts for 5% of its total $26.9 billion proposal for research and development for the 2024 fiscal year. However, it still exceeds the amount the service hoped to get for the next budgetary cycle's development of its next-generation attack submarine, $545 million. And 
Next Generation Destroyer. $187 million. There are still few details regarding what it is searching for in this aircraft and how far along the program may already be. The Navy's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, project, distinct from the Air Force's program, by the same name, includes FAXX as a component. In September 2022, media reports indicated that the highly classified sixth-generation fighter being developed by the U.S. Navy was in the concept refinement phase, with the Office of Naval Operations and Naval Air Systems Command of the Service discussing with business and intelligence organizations on the design of the futuristic aircraft. It is anticipated to replace the F-A-18EF Super Hornet, at least in part, according to an unclassified Navy aviation vision paper the service produced in 2021. It also stated that one of its primary duties would be to serve as a quarterback for squadrons of advanced drones. There are few details available regarding the drones the FAXX is intended to operate, but we do know that the Navy plans for them to carry ordnance, electronic warfare suites, and serve as communications relay nodes, noted the war zone. Recently, the Air Force disclosed that it has been working closely with the Navy to hone its plans for highly autonomous sophisticated drones, which it currently refers to as collaborative combat aircraft. The fact that the Navy is also buying additional MQ-4C Triton drones could signal some willingness for manned-unmanned -manned teaming. The U.S. Navy has not yet revealed more details about its upcoming aircraft. However, the service has taken the first step by disclosing the budgetary request and the ensuing information could be published in the foreseeable future.